While on the slip road, try to gauge how busy the carriageway would be. So we're going to build up our speed, check mirrors and give a right turn signal, an occasional glance in the door mirror to actually look for a safe gap to emerge into. If there's a safe gap, keep the speed nice and steady while we're coming onto the carriageway. Cancel your signal, and once we're on the carriageway, stay in the left hand lane to get used to the speed before attempting any overtake maneuvers. This time it's harder to see the carriageway, so again we want to build up our speed using the offside door mirror to gauge for a safe gap. Now we can't move across too soon because of the solid white lines. So we give our signal, quick check to the right, once it's safe, move out onto the carriageway, cancel the signal again, again building up our speed. This time we can tell the carriageway is much busier, so we're going to check our mirrors and give a right turn signal. Now we need to adjust our speed so we get there with the end of the slip road when there's a safe gap and at the moment there isn't a gap so you need to slow right down and be prepared to stop at the end of the slip road you can't stop once you're out on the carriageway so as soon as there's a safe gap move out onto the carriageway building up our speed now because we were slow we need a bigger gap to emerge into On this clip, the left hand lane will actually become the left hand lane of a three lane dual carriageway. The sign on the left will tell us of that. So we want to use the lane to its full ability, so we're building up our speed, staying away from the, the chevrons on the right hand side. And once we get to the end of the chevrons, we want to make sure that no traffic comes across in front of us. And stay in the left hand lane to get used to the speed and the density of the traffic before attempting any overtake maneuvers.